never give in. Never, never, never. Today, former ATS Corporal Joan Wellborn returned to GHQ Colesill for the first time in 72 years. Joan was guided around the site by Bill Ashby, our Colesill researcher. Joan arrived at Colesill on the 21st of May 1943 and worked in the orderly room, which was located on the first floor of the stable block. Joan worked for Camp Commandant Captain Benson, who had an office nearby. Although she had electricity, her office was very cold and she used to type wearing woolen mitts. Well, I don't remember much about the stable block. Was it a stable block? It was used as an affy. That's right, yes. That was here. Yeah, they did have NSA shows. And you but didn't go to any NSA shows? I think it was before I got here ah. that they had the NSA shows. But um, I couldn't place where the naffy was, and that is that rings a bell, yeah. We took Joan into the stable block to find her office. And I thought that we were that side of the... You may have been. <laughs> Might have been. Okay. Yes. This, this next room. I'll just walk behind you. Okay. So we'll get there. This, this next room. Yes. You see, it says RE's office, but yeah. that's obviously been planted on later on. Well, I thought the telephone girls were in here. I didn't the, think it was as big as that. We. There was obviously an orderly room somewhere. And well, I thought that was over there, on the other side of the stairs. Oh, you you remember places. it being very cold? I do, <laughs> very cold. It was a very cold winter, because it was all the trees were hoar frost every morning. <laughs> really cold. Even in the back of the truck, it was cold. That room there has got typists on the door. Really odd. Because I was with the typist and I thought we were the other side of the okay. stairs. Right. What we quickly learnt from Joan's recollections was that she did not work in the office that was marked typist or even in the side of the building that appears still fairly intact. Because the sergeants used to be in there. Did they? Yeah. One sergeant did, Sergeant Robinson. Robertson, yeah. and the other sergeant was in here well, with it, us. It when the house burnt down, my husband was in Palestine. Was he? And Joan was keen to see the site of Colesill House, so Bill took her around. Yeah. It was a lovely building, wasn't it? Yes. I know as you went in, the staircase was one that came down both sides. Oh, yes. Joan's working day was 8.30 to 5, and after work she climbed into the back of a 1500 weight truck and returned to her billet at Haddington Hall in the village of Haddington, north of Swindon. In October 1943, Joan met her future husband, who worked at the Highworth railway station at a dance in the school at Highworth. They married on the 9th of August 1947. We wanted to take a photograph of Joan by the same gate she stood by in this picture with her colleagues. Next on the site tour was a visit to the former guard's house where Joan signed the visitor's book. Bill then showed Joan the replica <laughs> operational base and she was brave enough to venture inside where she was met by National Trust volunteer and Orcs researcher Roger Green. <laughs> But on the original, they had these metal ones, so we've, uh, we've built these up. Yeah, and they, they'll fold flat, so... Uh... She found the Elsan toilet, which brought back fond memories. Joan is only one of a few Coleshill staff members to return to the site after travelling down from Leeds. Our thanks go to her and her family for a great day. <laughs> 